Hi, my name is David Scherter and I have a website called davidscherter.com where I speak about my family's involvement in a satanic cult and child trafficking ring that happened here in Omaha, Nebraska. I'm getting ready to speak at the National Smart Conference in Hartford, Connecticut the first weekend in August, information which can be found on the website ritualabuse.us. Anyway, yesterday, as a fluke, I decided to Google my own name and after being dismayed at the horrid things that I found on the web, especially on a website called Web Sleuths, where I seem to be banned from making any comments, I have decided that perhaps I need to explain a few things about myself and what I am trying to achieve and I'm going to do it on video. I wrote something because there's so much information that I can't get it all down in time. Anyway, first of all, one reason why some might find my website disjointed is because for all intents and purposes I use it as a blog. I write what I want, when I want, and as you can tell by the entry dates, I am infrequent at best. The reason for this is that I have a life, and I find it unhealthy to focus on all of this. I am not bipolar, I am not schizophrenic, I don't suffer from manic depressive, I've never been multiple personality disorder. I do, however, have post-traumatic stress disorder, which is what I got from my childhood experiences, which is heavily triggered when I focus too heavily on my past. Contrary to what you might read on certain websites, I don't live in some dark corner hanging out on my computer every day. Uh, and although I may suffer from stress, I have a rich life, complete with a strong support system, a long and loving relationship, and a strong faith in God. The political involvement that I speak about concerning the Satanism that I experienced as a child is based on the fact that these issues aren't indicative of Omaha. Actually, these issues have presented themselves up and down California, Seattle, parts of Michigan, and Atlanta, which tells me that it has to do with government involvement looking at the scope of complaints, especially when you consider the lockdown that this country has been under for the past decade concerning any investigation or study into such allegations. It is safe to say that I, um, many have been fearful to even broach the subject for the fear of re the repercussions which have a history of being quite severe. However, at this point we have the advantage we didn't have before, and that is history. The fact that this nation went through what was deemed as a satanic panic is an undeniable fact of our nation's history. However, I believe that there is more involved than a bunch of hysterical parents, out of control therapists, and misguided, or misguided and misdirected children trying to take down their daycares. Based on my own personal experiences in Omaha, here are some of the reasons why. First, there is ex-Chief Police Robert Wadman, who is well documented in being involved in what happened here in Omaha. After leaving his post in Omaha, he eventually found himself in Wilmington, North Carolina, where, coincidentally, he found himself ensnared in the same types of allegations that he experienced in Omaha concerning cult activity and child abuse. Then there is Colonel Michael Aquino founder of the Satanic sect Temple of Set, with a long esteemed history of military honors and personal friend of both Reagan and Bush, he was directly implicated by a mother of one of the um, abducted children in the area as being involved in son her son's disappearance. He has a long history of having to defend himself of allegations of child abuse, most notably for his involvement in the Presidio Daycare in San Francisco, where, again, he was accused of being involved in cult activity and child abuse. Of course, this could just be another coincidence. The last victim to come forward with allegations concerning what happened here in Omaha was a boy by the name of Brad Fugley, a good student, well-liked, and an activist in his school. He made a formal complaint against some of the people involved in his abuse to the Omaha Police Department. However, the next day he was found dead by an apparent suicide. This would have been completely forgotten had it not been for our current mayor, Jim Suttle. You see, his right-hand man and the one who helped him get elected also happened to be one of the men Brad Fugley made a formal complaint against. Barely mentioned in the news, but there nonetheless, it was explained that since the boy was dead, the complaint was dropped, and so it was quickly dismissed. Perhaps, again, it is a coincidence, but there seems to be an awful lot of them associated with this situation. Years ago, in a walking tour through Pedophile Omaha, I am unmistakably angry. But you have to understand how frustrating I found it to be that very few facts associated with what happened here in Omaha made sense. 
Three victim, the three victims associated with the events here could tell you about rooms in the White House, events in the Bohemian Grove, and hanging out with abducted children, but they didn't seem to know anything about their own hometown, not to mention the lawyers and politicians who were involved in investigating the events that surrounded a failed savings and, credit, or savings and loan called Fred Franklin Credit, which, made, which most of this revolves around. Considering how small Omaha is, and how much money was being made, not only on the child prostitution, but also on the drugs that Kevin Dobson was bringing in from the Contras. You're telling me that no one had any idea of what was going on here? I show how close all of this is to the police station, talking about the fact that Sam Soda, accused of being involved with the abduction of Johnny Gosh, worked right across the street as the manager of the stage door bar. I guess it's just a coincidence that all of this wasn't looked at. I have been criticized for not having physical proof of my family's activity, but again, you need to understand where I am coming from. The majority of my family is now dead. My dad, my oldest sister, my brother, and those still <coughs> alive who, are acti who were actively involved in my abuse, well, this is the thing. I am quite comfortable that they will never speak the truth of this. Given every opportunity to come clean, they will deny this till the very end. And as such, it will be something that they will take in their hearts with them the last minute they draw their last breath. Um, this is very important to me. You see, crazy as it may seem, I have this powerful faith based on the things that I was exposed to as a child. And I have discovered that what I want from all of this is not justice, but retribution. A retribution that can never be realized on this side. However, I believe that we are at a time of judgment and that those who are involved in this are about to be claimed by the same darkness they have brought in other people's lives. As such, I don't want to turn, do anything to turn them from the path that they have chosen. I want them to be claimed. My attention has shifted to the survivors, which there are many. The, UST, the USTRC no longer exists and my group is, that I am working with is no longer associated with Kathleen Sullivan. We are in the process of developing a survivor's project, which is why it has been delayed, and all of us are activists in our own right. And, um, we are all doing what we can to expose what has happened to us so that society is better informed. It is my involvement in this group that is taking precedence over my time, and not this investigation into Omaha and my family. From what I have seen, there is too much money and political power behind what happened to here to prevent it from ever really being truly understood. And my time is better spent empowering survivors, which is why my website has changed the way it has. One last thing. I think it's really lame that there are places slandering me out there or printing libel um, and they don't have enough guts to come talk to me. You can reach me at davidscherter1 at gmail.com. Thanks. Bye.